Mm, it feels good to be back. Okay, back to the beginning. Welcome back and thank you for joining me for another reaction video. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and turn on those notifications because it really does help the channel out loads and I'm grateful in advance. Now, finally, we are back and two quick things. First thing, backwards cap chase is back at least for the time being because, well, the barbers aren't open yet and I'm starting to look like a terrible low budget 80s action actor and that's no good. Um, second thing, it's been a week of not publishing videos and that's the first time I've done that in I think a year. Um, reason for that is I've been settling into my new role at work, which has been super exciting. And, um, I've also been streamlining my setup for the channel. I want to make sure that the recording and editing of these videos is as streamlined as possible. So I use all the time I've got available to dive in, get them done and uh, upload it for you guys. I've got that nervous energy, which is a good thing. And, um, the song I've chosen to come back with is from while she sleeps. Now I've done a reaction to this band and it was absolute fire. I'm familiar with the sound. I really like that last song. And I've been meaning to do this one for a while. So I've decided to come back with this one. It's a song called Nervous featuring Simon Neal. Now, I believe Simon Neal is the singer from Buffy Clyro, if I'm not mistaken. And um, that's a band I do know a little bit about. My brother's a big fan. I've probably heard a couple songs, but I can't really remember any of them. So if there's anything from their catalog you'd like me to look at, please put it in the comments below. But um, yeah, super excited to dive into this one. Thank you for being patient and hanging in there. And we are finally back. So while she sleeps, nervous featuring Simon Neal. Let's see what you got. feels good to be back okay back to the beginning love the setup of this um really delicate starts kind of caught me off guard uh those nice little piano hits with the delay on it and then those um reverse notes i speak about it a lot with like cymbal um crashes where you reverse it to build up into a chorus i've I mentioned that a bunch on the channel and it reminds me a bit of um a thing called back masking which is a technique of recording either um vocal singing or speaking parts or musical parts um backwards onto a track and i think it was popular popularized mostly by the beatles um but words and music are strange you know when you hit down on a string where you say a word there's normally a harsher start to it softer end so when you switch that around you get that sh effect and you can hear that with some of those picked pieces that i, I think happen in the background chorus hits ultimate power I really, you know, I didn't catch a lot of what they said, but I do know the importance of the song. I know it's about mental health, mental illness, and some of the struggles of the band themselves. So i um, keen to kind of keep my, my ears open for, for some of the lyrics, but really powerful melody there. And, and that chord progression is nice. I need to hear it again, but um, there's a nice formula to it. But wow. stop there and track forward okay yeah it, 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 that's the formula i was thinking of so um when you write chords there's different ways of structuring those chords together to help provide the canvas for the vocals to sit on top now i'm assuming that that is either going to be it's going to play a much bigger role later i just like the melody of it the sound of it it's either going to be part of the chorus or it's going to be a nice interlude piece um it's powerful they, it sounds like they're starting with a lower chord, they're climbing up one, then they climb up a more exaggerated version, and then they drop back down again. And it, it kind of is, to me, it's the top and tail, and then there's a bit of um, dimension in the middle of that. And it just sounds really good. Uh, I like some of the accents on it as well. Beautifully written. 
I expect no less. All this on a second um okay interesting so i'll go back to it leads in there was that nice first piece there first of all beautiful concept for the video them just standing in what looks like a field with that big projection of i guess them looking back on on moments in their life and and, and the band's the band's history so far that's what i'm picking up some beautiful lyrics there um a lot of vocal layering even when it's meant to be stripped back and in that verse a uh, nice vocal layering i do like how the drumming and the accents of the snares a little bit quicker than it was in the opening piece, the piece that I assume is going to be part of the chorus. But then you heard that piece, which is slightly different. So uh, I just kind of want to see where they go with that. Sometimes bands will um, have these uh, pre-choruses, which which it's possible that that is. Um, it definitely sounds like it's a distinction. It's not just a heavier version of the verse before. So keen to see where that goes. Okay, um, back one. There is, that's an awesome place to pause actually, might as well be a thumbnail. But what I like that's happening here in the verse is there is that vocal layering. So even when it's that grittier voice, there's a more softer uh, sung voice. I say underneath because of the power of the aggression and grit in the more, the, the, the grittier vocal, it feels like it's been pushed forward. You can do that with um, just volume, really. You can do it with spatial effects and placements, EQs. Um, also what a tattoo this world is broken you're damn right buddy um, I do like this I like this a lot I'm liking all the melody I'm liking the concept and um, so far what a video to come back with loving it the thing I want you to listen out for in the verse is there's still this energetic almost synth piece on top and it's it's on top it's a little bit back it's quite busy it's much busier than it, it um, initially sounds and I think it fills up a lot of the, the brightness of that quite nicely because um, instrumentation, whether it have distortion on or whether it be just this analog, pure sound, clean, there's so much breadth to it, but so much is happening at once that it's nice to have, sometimes have like a space filler that's a bit more consistent. Very cool. Yeah, easy, 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 easy. Uh, back one more. Okay, so there's something interesting there. And I don't know, structure's a great thing. And, and actually, I'm going to be doing some non-reaction-based videos. One of them being talking about song structure, why songs are structured a certain way. Um, and the reasons for that, you know, why they're structured a certain way, uh, how that came about, and why that formula just works and, and, and variations of it actually i'm really really excited for that one i want to do more of those i think there's there's a lot we can do to talk about um music without having necessarily the video up in front but this one absolute certified banger could hear it getting a bit heavier there but one thing i'm interested in with this is the way that the um 
there's a piece that I said, oh, I don't know, don't know where that is. It's an extension of the verse. It does sound like a bit of a pre-chorus because that piece where they come in and it's more dragged out, the piece where he's singing, I'm nervous, obviously is going to be the chorus. Um, and it doesn't feel like that other piece is part of it, but I love how they work together. It almost sets you up for this beautiful impact. Oh, what a song. What a band. Also, shout out um, Simon Neal. Pretty sure, uh, you know, he came in, uh, he's probably had some vocal impact before, but you could see when they zoned in on him and you could hear the distinction in the different voice absolute brilliance there because sometimes vocalists are added just because of the name of the band they're in but um it's this just feels and sounds right it's just a good tactical choice really can't wait that heavier piece please give me something Well, hmm. if you don't think we're going back for that, uh, then you are brand new to the channel, my friend. Here's the thing. I like when songs are melody, and I like when songs are heavy. And there's nothing I like more than when it does both. I love that. That is absolutely fantastic. Um, absolutely brilliant. That I love the way that the song is pieced together, because there's nothing... Uh, groundbreaking in terms of the structure of the song and in terms of the placement of some of the pieces but each piece is done so brilliantly kind of hard to ignore and not say that not at least give that kind of compliment where it's due that heavier piece if you know a band called memphis mayfire that is a very distinct sound that i'm familiar with that very broken up really heavy almost sounds like it's got digital interruptions to it but it's been planned that way it fits perfectly. I like some of the stop starts, some of the syncopation on that to catch up with the beats once it's been there. It's just fantastic. And please give me more. Those little runoffs at da na 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 oh. I'm going to stop there and back one. This part of the song, crucial, crucial. This interlude, it's been power, it's been pace, it's been energy, it's been fantastic, but we need to breathe. Songs need to allow the audience time to breathe. You can imagine standing in that crowd, just gathering your thoughts before you absolutely lose it again. We're two and a half minutes into a four minute song, which means we're most likely going to have a, a double chorus or at least an outro piece play out to it. And it's so good to be back. Sounds like a couple of bongo work there. Listen, what a setup for 
a video what a setup for the song the way it played out it looked like it was in a field earlier but then there you get that warehouse vibe and you just get all the members standing in front of that big projector i think it's phenomenal the concept the lyrics that whole piece around i'm nervous listen mental health mental illness has probably been spoken about more nowadays than it ever has in my lifetime and thank god for it because forget the pandemic the world is a tough place it's a difficult place and everyone's doing their very best to keep healthy, look after loved ones, and be a good person. And it's difficult. And music has, you know, there's, there's, there's certain things in life, sports, music, art. It has a way of transcending uh, just the, the platform that it's on. And it connects people. It brings countries together it it brings loved ones together it's such a boundaryless form of healing um and i think it's really brave of the band to do this to to have something so personal to themselves to uh, let people know that you know you sometimes you look at these artists and they are these heroes they're these people that kind of stand on the shoulders of the genres they're in and um to know that they are human too and they suffer and struggle like all of us it's really comforting sad but comforting and if you are struggling please 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 it does get better talk to somebody anybody family friends if you don't have any put a comment below in the video and as a community we'll all jump in and chat just know that you are loved whether i've met you or not um you deserve good things and uh it will get better I love that song. It was a brilliant one to come back with. I've analyzed a lot of it. I'll find my groove. Like I said, some changes to the channel technically in the back end. So I'll tweak some of those and um, just really feel motivated, inspired. Hard not to when, it, when you have music like that. It's hard, it's hard to hear something so beautifully written and so impactful and not just feel uh, creative energy flowing through your veins. And um, I've got very big plans for this channel and we're not going anywhere. So stick around. Let me know what you want to hear. And um, there's going to be lots of surprises, lots of non-reactions, lots of new reactions, lots of new bands. And um, that just makes me smile. So until the next one, please be safe, be nice to each other and have a damn good day.